What's going on everyone? Greg here with RC Driver and I have some new Proline goodies to show you. I got a box in for Proline this morning and these were in there and these are some seriously cool looking shocks. Looking forward to adding these to one of my scalers, actually this rig right here. But anyway, I just wanted to go over these shocks with you guys because they are a pretty cool shock and they are available for a number of different types of vehicles. Uh, so I got to use my cheat sheet card here. They have a 70 to 75 millimeter shock. They have a 90 to 95 millimeter shock and then a 105 to 110. So that should cover most crawlers and even some rock racing machines. Uh, but I want to go over these because they do look really cool. Proline actually makes a lot of shocks. They're, they are like the, becoming the shock specialist. But uh, these are added to the bunch and these are just, again, a really great looking shock. Uh, for those of you that are looking for an aftermarket performance shock. Uh, but these are all made from quality materials, as you would expect from Proline. And uh, let me just go over the shock a little bit for you guys. So the top cap here is an aluminum top cap. Uh, so you don't have to worry about a plastic top cap probably pulling out or anything like that. And right underneath the top cap is an O-ring. So that helps seal it to the body here. As you can see, the top cap is uh, anodized blue. And then it's got the PL logo in, etched in there. Uh, and then the body itself, also aluminum, and it's got a clear anodizing finish on there. It really just looks awesome. And then right below that here is the spring perch. And as you can see, the spring perch has these uh, little drill marks in to kind of give it uh, a little bit of a neural effect. Gives it a great look as well. But uh, what they don't show you on the back of the card here, and I went and I took this apart, is there is an O-ring on this shock collar, or inside this shock collar here. And that prevents the, the collar from walking uh, as, as you use the vehicle. Some machines, uh, you know, they don't have a O-ring inside and that collar can actually start to move. So uh, props to Proline for going that extra step and putting an O-ring in there so it doesn't move. And then as you can see, there's a dual rate spring here. So we've got the black spring up top. We've got this uh, basically uh, perch, collar perch that goes in the center, I guess. Uh, and then the lower spring and they also give you a, a single spring. So if you wanted to use one or the other, uh, so with this particular shock, the black spring compresses first, uh, and then the, the lower spring will compress. So you get some subtle damping, you know, when you're going over some light stuff. And then when you're going over some, some heavy stuff where you get some serious movement, that's when the, the other spring is there for rebound. Uh, but pretty neat that they give you both types of springs with it. So you could tune the vehicle the way you want it to handle. Uh, and then below that here, we've got another aluminum cap. It's got an O-ring there as well to seal the bottom. Now there's a single X-ring O-ring on the inside to help prevent the oil from coming out. From what I gather, the X-ring, there's less friction there, but it gives you that dual seal. Uh, and then we can move down to the 3.5 millimeter shock shaft. That's a pretty heavy duty shock shaft uh, for a small shock such as this. Uh, there's a piston up top there and the piston is retained by a, uh, a locking nut, which is also key. Don't want Eclipse to pop off when you're when you're driving. Uh, don't want a regular nut in there. So they use a lock nut, keeps the piston secure. Uh, then moving farther down, got the standard shock end here, but they also give you a five millimeter shock end so you could extend the length of it. Uh, plastic lower perch and then they give you a steel uh, ball end there for the for the uh, for the shock end, and then in this bag they give you the upper shock pivot balls. And again, these are a universal shock, so they should be able to mount to a number of different vehicles. I'm going to put it onto this Axial Rubicon, the Wrangler CRC here. I think this is going to be a project coming up, so you'll probably see these shocks hanging around here at the workshop. But getting back to the shocks, you do need to supply your own oil. Now, Proline tells you to use 30 to 50 weight oil in this shock. I'm going to start off with 32 and a half, see how it goes. Uh, but basically, you're going to need to pop off the shock cap, fill it, bleed out any air you can, and then bleed the shock oil out to make sure there is no hydro lock. Mount it to your particular truck, and then you're off and ready to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill these up, attach them to the truck, head out for some action, so you can see what these dampers do for the handling of this rig.
final installation of the shocks was super simple. Bleeding the shocks, not a problem. Installing them on the truck, not a problem either. The only thing I did do, I removed four of the ball ends from the stock shocks and used those as the upper ball end in the Proline shocks. The ball end that Proline includes with their kit uh, is a little bit long. It's got this long spacer on the back side of it. So by using the stock factory axial ball ends, everything worked out just fine. I did use the large flange of the ball end on the outside so the shock wouldn't pull off while I'm running it because the shock will actually pull over the factory button head screw. So you gotta have a flange or at least a washer on the outside. Then after that, I went over to one of my favorite trails and unfortunately it was completely destroyed by a tornado we just had. So I went to another park and was able to get some running time in. I got about an hour's worth of run time in on the trails. There was a lot of trees down again crazy tornado hit us so anyway during that time i found some cool rocks to crawl over which you guys just saw and i was pretty impressed with how these shocks reacted i do like that soft spring rate that the shock has a dual spring rate the softer spring allows that shock to to compress and uh, i think it was able to get over some uh stuff that maybe it wouldn't have been able to get over with the stock shock on there i really liked how these things performed and like i said i got an hour's worth of runtime in on it there's no signs of any leaking or anything like that so so far so good in that respect i mean these shocks just worked really well overall all the way around really like the way they look too they look cool in the wheel wells there so again if you guys are looking for an aftermarket shock definitely check out these Prospect shocks from Proline. They got a lot to offer. Great looks, great performance. And like many of Proline's other products, they just did a great job with it. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please click the subscribe button, the notifications bell, throw the video a like, question, or comment about the shocks, throw it in the section below. When you have some extra time, head over to rcdriver.com.